Grazie Alessandro, ciao. Saluti e tutti. Now this year marks a very exciting milestone for San Marino in Eurovision as the contest's smallest nation becomes the first country to send the same singer to the competition three years in a row since 1966. In addition, for only the second time in the contest history, Valentina sings a song from the same composer for a third successive year. Now, San Marino's composer, Ralph Siegel, really is Mr. Eurovision. And Valentina's song will be the 22nd composition he's had selected for Eurovision over the past 40 years, 18 of which have reached the finals in the past. Ralph's first entry was chosen for Luxembourg in 1974, and British singer Irene Shear sang Bye Bye I Love You in French at the contest in Brighton. Coming to you from the dome in Brighton. But it's for San Marino that Ralph has most recently been giving his very best efforts. And for the last two years, he's collaborated with award-winning authors to compose entries for our very own Valentina, with the Social Network song going to Baku and Chrysalis in Malmo last year. Although neither song took San Marino into the final, both tracks have become firm favorites with the Eurovision fans and often are rated near the very top of unofficial fan polls. So let's remind ourselves of Valentina in the last contest. Of course, it's for his native Germany that Ralph has had the most success in the contest. And later in the program, we'll be reminded that this year marks 32 years since his song, A Little Peace, triumphed in Harrogate. It seems impossible that it's that long ago since the sleepy Yorkshire Pass Spa town hosted Eurovision, but I remember that night very fondly. Although at the time the venue was a state-of-the-art purpose-built venue looking back now, the 2,000-seat auditorium seems tiny by modern Eurovision standards. Yet it was the setting for one of Eurovision's biggest triumphs. There really was stiff competition that night, but not only did Nicole run away with the victory, scoring an amazing 61 points more than her closest Israeli rival, she also set a then record for scoring nine maximum 12 points and went on to top the charts all over the world. And Germany, 12 points. And Germany, 12 points. In the UK, she knocked Paul McCartney off the number one spot while scoring Britain's 500th number one single. And to this day, A Little Peace remains Eurovision's third relative highest scoring song ever. Now, as I said earlier, there is historical precedence for the same artist representing the same nation three years in a row at Eurovision. And the really exciting thing is that all three of those singers to have sung three times in a row before all won the contest. This Asia represented Switzerland in the first three competitions, winning in 1956, and then Corrie Brocken sang for the Netherlands in the same years, winning in 1957. Austria's Udo Jürgen sang each year from 1964 to 66, winning Eurovision at his third try. It's another famous Eurovision song that said, the history book on the shelf is always repeating itself, and that has to be the best possible omen for Valentina and Ralph in Copenhagen. Can Valentina join the former other winners in the Triple Hall of Fame? Well, we don't have long to find out. Good luck, Valentina. I'll see you in Denmark. Buona fortuna e Valentina e Ralph.